it's no joke when the coach himself can come out and say she didn't look like she was ready to 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 run the 200 meters because of the curves and the bends and i've seen that dip and that hill and i know for sure especially from the jamaican jamaican perspective that it's really hard for them to slow down speed up i don't even know what they're talking about this is a 200 meters why are we slowing down and speeding up it sounds like a 400 because you know you're going around the track one time completely Welcome back, Trackies. Well, a world junior champion in the 200 meters, Brianna Liston, opened her collegiate season. So as you know, Trackies, Brianna did not stay in Jamaica. She journeyed off to join T. LSU? Right. She journeyed off to join um, LSU. And now we finally get to see what she is doing. So she competed in the 200 meters and the 60 and meters the and the 60 meters this weekend and track is we like what we saw yes she wasn't breaking any barriers and winning any races but the 200 meters personally for me the indoors especially 200 meters that in itself is a learning curve and i liked what i saw from G um what's uh, brianna liston she came out well she acquitted herself running 732 in the for ninth place overall in the two in the 60 meters and 2354 for 19th place overall in the 200 meters indoors t let's speak to her form and her health what are on and even the times if you want is this what we expected of brianna the world junior champion opening our season um from me personally you know we said in a video before that she's gonna hit the well i don't i think i said it in it that we we're gonna hit the hit, she was gonna hit the ground running and i don't know i i see a lot of people i don't know what they were expecting if they're expecting her to be on par with um favor um in her first few races i mean first race 200 and obviously 60 as well so first few races um of the season but for me she hit the ground running it was crazy I had to stop and be like, is this her really her first few races? She was able to pull out a mid-23 in the 200 meters, even after her course said she was having difficulties. People need to remember that these Jamaicans have serious issues on this indoor track. I've seen them fall a lot on that curve. Plus, even in the 60, just come, just, just, just finishing off that straight, I've seen them fall a lot. So it's no joke when the coach himself can come out and say, she didn't look like she was ready to 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 run the 200 meters because of the curves and the bends and i've seen that dip and that hill and i know for sure especially from the jamaican jamaican perspective that it's really hard for them to slow down speed up i don't even know what they're talking about this is a 200 meters why are we slowing down and speeding up it sounds like a 400 because you know you're going around the track one time completely but again she stepped up from me and she put on a masterclass show um showing that listen she's here and she's ready to lay down some ridiculous times no she ran at obviously 23.54 and you will say oh that's not spectacular well let's look at it from a from from a brianna liston um point of view last last season she would have opened her season outdoors in february as well and she would have opened it running 23 um maybe 23 twos I, i'm thinking or 23 threes but that was outdoors this is now indoors and she's also opening her season close to that and if we're supposed to cut down that time it will show that she's way ahead of what she opened her season with last season for outdoors so for me i think brianna listen as i said is gonna do something crazy this year hit your ground running when outdoors starts you're gonna see what she really has to offer and that 60 for me confirmed it Running 7.32 first ever race. Are you mm -hmm. kidding me? 7.32? Right. No, that, that's crazy. 
and don't get me wrong yes we have julian alfred running um seven seconds dead but oh my god come on she's one been in the system for so many years yes and three full years on her as far as collegiate racing goes yeah so you know this is kind of her her thing and she's she's gradually improved so if if brianna's starting out point is 7.32 just imagine how that's going to get better as this particular season progresses for indoors but i'm not really even so concerned indoors because i'm not really looking there i'm looking at what she means for lsu and for jamaica obviously um outdoors this season and i still stand by everything i said i expected her to hit the ground running and she did so no actually yeah, you said that she's going to make the senior team can she make the senior team no no you said that no. she was going to make the senior team i said she wasn't what did i say she was going to make the senior team or she stands a good shot of making the senior team no 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 this is exactly what i said i said these junior athletes should go to the trials because remember you can select eight people from that entire race, meaning if the whole final goal, um, eight people in the finals can be selected for a relay spot. So I didn't say individually. I said she could possibly make the relay team. However, I shall adjust that because I'm hearing that Shelly and Fraser Price has stepped away from the 200 meters. So remember, we have a defending champion in Sherika Jackson. So we have four slots. And if Shelly has stepped away, it means that we have two empty slots if we're saying Sherika is, is already guaranteed and Elaine is going to also take up a spot. So we have two extra spots. And that's up for grabs between Brianna Liston, Brianna Williams, Kevona Davis. There, These athletes are coming. You think they're not eyeing it? I think they're eyeing it. I'll wait and see about that Shelly. Um stepping away <laughs> what even if she stays if there's still one slot we still have a free slot go mm -hmm. for it okay okay so track is there's nothing much more to say t covered all bases relating to brianna um liston i myself thought it was an those two runs were awesome 18 years old fresh out of high school joining the ncaa collegiate circuits Awesome job, Brianna Liston. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did you expect to see her like taking heads this early in the season, this early in her indoor ca um, collegiate career? Let us know your thoughts in the comment sections below. Um, comment section below, and please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'm Tam, and I'm T. We'll catch you in another one.